Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I have two shirt dresses that I would like to share with you. And these two shirt dresses are exactly the same as the surfing dog shirt dress that I shared with you in my last video, video number 57. And so what happened was um, after I made up that uh, surfing dog uh, print shirt dress, I just loved everything about that dress. You know, the combination of the very the pointed collar and sort of more fitted and mid-length uh, sleeve. It's just like everything about that one I just really love. So I wanted to make a gazillion of those shirt of the shirt dresses. And so today are the first two of the gazillion ones that I plan to make. The first dress that I will share with you today is this one here, uh, made from about just a little over one and a half yards of uh, 60 inch wide fabric that I purchased from Joanne uh, about just under two months ago. Uh, so here is a close up of the, uh, the print and the texture itself. Uh, I think this white is it's a bit more cream, you know, uh, sort of off white and not like a stark white. So I think it's a more uh, subtle and more less harsh white. And then paired with this black uh, floral uh, sort of outline, I just thought it was so pretty. And so just really uh, like this uh, caution, I mean, sorry, this uh, linen. So I bought this linen uh, at Joanne. Uh, so what happened was about, you know, just under two months ago, I was getting so kind of stir crazy, you know, staying at home all the time. So I decided to drive out to Westchester, uh, which is a suburb of New York City. That's about, you know, 30, 40 minutes away. And so I went to the Joanne there uh, and not knowing what I wanted to buy, I just sort of browsing. And turns out this linen was 70% uh, off there. So normally I think it was about $23 a yard, and uh, but it was, you know, 70% off. Plus I had another 20% off coupon. So the final cost to me was about just, un you know, just under $7 a yard. So it's, you know, clearly of excellent value. And uh, I bought three yards of this fabric, not knowing what I wanted to make uh, with this. And uh, so when I decided to use this linen for the stress, um, and then when I was, you know, playing around with the pattern pieces and all that, um, it would take about just one, just a little more than one and a half yards of this fabric. And normally when I was, you know, cutting out, I would also cut out the belt at the same time. But in this case, I got the feeling that most likely I would use uh, black buttons. And if I, you know, did use black buttons, most likely I will also pair this dress with a black belt, you know, just a black leather belt that I already have at home instead of making a belt from the same fabric. So when I was cutting out, I purposely did not cut out the belt yet because I actually wanted to preserve as much of the fabric as I can uh, for another dress. And uh, and turned out, you know, I really do like it better with black uh, buttons versus white buttons, for example. And so I just paired it with this uh, um, generic kind of black leather belt that I have. And it's a skinny one, so I really like it. So, so that's what happened. And in this one here, I did not make pockets uh, because this linen is a bit translucent and I do not want to have the outline of the pockets showing. So I just skipped it. Uh, so, so that is fine. Otherwise, there are no changes uh, to the construction of this uh, dress because everything is exactly the same as the surfing dog one. So if you're interested in the construction and just hearing more about the details of that one, uh, please refer to my last video video number 57. I lined this linen dress uh, with white viscose and as you can see here you know like the lining is white and um, normally I do line my dresses anyway just because uh, it just feels much more comfortable on the skin and also the dresses look a lot more professionally finished uh, but in this case lining is 
necessary actually. Uh, number one, because this linen I think is relatively loosely woven, so it's a bit translucent, and uh, and also because the fabric is you know is white or off white, and so it definitely needs lining to provide more opacity for modesty uh, reasons. And number two is, um, I don't know if it's because this fabric is sort of medium weight linen uh, versus the very lightweight linen that I used uh, for my linen dress uh, last summer. Um, this linen feels a bit scratchy directly on the skin and so without the lining I don't think this dress would be comfortable at all but once I lined it it's fine you know so uh, so it's really not additional work for me since I line my dresses anyway so overall I am very happy about how this dress turned out so here is a quick video of this linen dress and as always I paired it with my trusty three and a half inch pointed toe heels. And overall, I just really like this look. Um, it looks very summery and uh, still, you know, very professional. And so overall, I'm very happy about it. The only thing that was sort of interesting was that this linen, even though I did pre-wash it, is it definitely stretched during the construction process. So overall, I think this dress just fits a little more loosely but overall you know it's fine because it's sort of generic stretching um so so the dress is you know this i guess the stretching is sort of proportionate so so you know so there is no distortion so fortunately that is the case i knew it was stretching because when i was adding the collar stand to the to the neckline the collar stand was too short and so I knew somehow this thing got stretched, even though I've, you know, I'm fairly careful uh, when I'm making up my garments. And uh, luckily, I was able to extend the length of the collar stand simply by reducing the seam allowance to the absolute minimum. Uh, normally, this is a one centimeter seam allowance, and I reduced it to I think about maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Uh, centimeters and it's just like the minimum I could get away with and uh, it works out fine so uh, so you know so it looks like this even though I don't think I would ever wear it uh, button it all the way up um, so that kind of defeats the purpose of a summer dress um, so overall I am still very happy about this one the second dress that I will share with you today is this one here uh, made from just under two yards of about 55 inch wide uh, rayon batiste that I purchased from moofabrics.com last summer. And so here's a close up look of this, uh, te the texture and the print. You know, so this is like the color if I were to. And so here, as you can see, it's incredibly vibrant. Uh, but I really just love it. So so last year when I was browsing on Mood's website, I you know this fabric caught my eye right away, and I just loved it. But it was so vibrant and so bright, I wasn't sure what I would make with it. But I really loved it anyway, and the price was very good. It was nine ninety nine a yard, so I just bought two yards uh, of this fabric anyway. And uh, after, you know, the success of that surfing dog uh, shirt dress from my last video, um, I wanted to uh, make the same dress using this fabric also because um, I want to try sort of a, the same dress with different fabrics, with different drapes to see how they work out. So for example, the surfing dog one is sort of, you know, the standard, it's quilting cotton. And the linen dress that I just shared with you um, has a much stiffer uh, drape, but I think it also works out very well. You know, it just has a more structured look to this dress. And for this one, obviously, rayon is incredibly drapey, so you can see it just has a much softer look uh, to it. And so, so you know, this is really just great that is so versatile and that sort of the fabrics with different drapes you know work 
very well for uh, short dresses uh, as a general rule. And uh, about the construction of this one, uh, obviously, you know, I didn't make any changes. So exactly the same as the surfing dog one uh, that I talked about in video 57. But the interesting part about the, a little bit interesting, you know, that I will share with you is that um, the, the collar, you know, piece and also the collar stand were always interface in all my uh, garments. But instead of using fusible interfacing, I just cut out uh, usually the same lining fabric um, as interfacing. And so when I sew them up, I would just, you know, sew it together. So for example, this color in a way has four layers of fabric, you know, like, you know, obviously the top and the bottom are the exterior fashion fabric. And then in between, there are two layers of uh, this viscose rayon uh, that I use as my lining. And before, after I made up the collar piece, it's just so soft. So I decided that uh, I may have to interface it with something a little stiffer for the collar stand because the collar stand, you know, can just sort of like get squished around, uh, you know, by the weight of the collar piece. So I interfaced the collar stand uh, with cotton wool, you know, just some scraps that I have lying around. And I think it works really well. Um, so the collar stand has two layers of this viscose and two layers of cotton wool. And I think it gives enough structure, but still very, very soft. So it doesn't somehow, you know, change the sort of the very soft and very flowy, drapey nature of this dress. So I really love it. And also, you know, like, Obviously, with COVID, a lot of people are working from home. People are talking. People are talk about secret pajamas. I feel like this dress is a secret pajamas because it is so soft and then just like really, you know, it's just really soft. And then also, it was, you know, it's not obviously it's fitted, but it's not tight at all. And um, so it really feels incredibly comfortable. Uh, so probably not quite a totally secret pajamas but it really feels incredibly comfortable and soft and really wonderful uh, on the skin so i'm very happy that i uh, decided to try uh, pairing this fabric uh, with this dress i lined this dress uh, with viscose rayon that i purchased from uh, fabricwholesaledirect.com and uh, the reason for choosing uh, viscose rayon for lining is number one because uh, generally I try the lining should be a lighter weight fabric uh, when compared with the exterior fabric and so I really have two choices either a viscose rayon or say silk but then uh, silk generally you know, the china silk that I normally use has a little more structure than this viscose rayon. So I, you know, so obviously to make my life easier, I just use viscose rayon. And so, so then they would be behave exactly the same because the two layers of fabric are uh, of the same type of uh, material. And uh, it really works great. It's just so soft and so comfortable. So I am very happy about this uh, lining. After I made up this dress, it just really gave me the vibe of say Oscar de la Renta's uh, floral motif uh, this year or uh, or because of this very vibrant color palette probably uh, is closer to Dolce and Gabbana's you know uh, color palette but in any case I'm just really happy about uh, how this dress uh, turned out and uh, the the total cost for this dress is well under $40. You know, that includes exterior, the lining, and also the buttons. So I just think it's so great that I have the designer look uh, without the designer price. But of course, we're not counting the hourly time charge of a lawyer, for example. So here is a quick video of this uh, floral dress. And as usual, I paired it with my three and a half inch uh, pointed toe uh, heels in black and um, as you can see you know, because this fabric is viscose ha it's much drapier so when compared with the linen dress earlier 
um, I think overall the silhouette, the feel of this dress is a it has a softer feel, it has more of a feminine feel and uh, so I just really lo love it even though obviously I like both uh, versions but I think this floral version you know just in a way has a very soft and very uh, understated uh, presence despite the very vibrant floral print so I really am happy how it turned out thank you so much for watching and I hope you have enjoyed uh, today's demonstration of this dress uh, made from fabrics with very different qualities and as you can see you don't have to feel intimidated with the pairing of a fabric um, to the pattern uh, because I just made the same shirt dress with three different fabrics you know the standard cotton cotton is right in the middle and then at one end is this linen with a lot of body and therefore the garment has a lot more structure to the other end uh, with this viscose rayon with a lot of drape and therefore the garment overall will have a more softer silhouette and they all look very different but I am equally happy with how they all turned out so I just would like to point out that um, a pattern piece is generally a lot more versatile than the the back of the pattern envelope would have you believe about what's suitable or not um, it really is up to your personal preference and uh, as to what you would like to highlight uh, with a particular garment whether it's in a more structured look uh, to highlight certain construction details or more drapey look because you wanted a more softer silhouette so anyway on that note i hope you will stay safe be well and i hope i will see you soon bye bye